sure when you mention the name Voith in the shipping world, everyone thinks instantly of the Voith Schneider propeller, which means that the propeller is well known in shipping. Conventional propellers have a preferred direction of thrust, which is determined by the horizontal rotational axis. The principle of the Voith Schneider propeller is totally different. We have a vertical rotational axis, and this permits the thrust direction to be rotated through 360 degrees, flexibly and steplessly. Remarkable today is that 80 years ago, an entrepreneur heard of such an idea and then went on to examine it technically. Somehow this also reflects the capability of Voy to pick up technically interesting ideas, develop them further, and eventually turn them into a marketable product. Well, the idea definitely promised a propeller with characteristics that did not exist at the time. It must have been fascinating for the people in those days to see that a ship can rotate around its own axis, to witness a ship that is so maneuverable that it can change direction with minute precision, and all this at breathtaking speed. <laughs> yes, since then we have built almost 4,000 propellers. Uh, but of course, the propellers from those days cannot be compared with the products we manufacture and sell today. The key element of thrust generation are four, five, or six blades. These blades are mounted in a rotor casing and oscillate during the rotation. This oscillating movement is realized with a mechanical transmission that we call kinematics. If I have a ship that sails straight ahead for three weeks, it's probably not the right propeller. But it is ideal for ships that have to position themselves dynamically. For example, platform supply vessels, and also floating cranes. Today, Voith water tractors are used for escorting, and in the offshore 